don't know about you, but bowl season is my favorite time of year. You have the holly jolly of Christmas mixed with college football on 24 hours for a week straight. Couldn't be better. But have you ever wondered how these bowl games are decided and who gets to play in what? Well, this is the video for you, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down, and let's go ahead and get into it. A college football bowl game is a one-time matchup between two teams who would normally see each other in the regular season. But the winner of this matchup does not progress and play another game. Except for the college football playoff semifinals, which is a whole nother goose and an egg of itself. If you would like to know more about the college football playoffs, make sure to check out this video right here and I'll link it down in the description. And the announcement of these college football bowl games are always on the Sunday after the conference football championships. And if you would like to know more about that, you can check out the last video I posted and I'll link it down in the description as well too. A team must have won half or more than half of their games that season versus an FBS opponent to qualify for a bowl game. But there is an exception to this rule as five and seven teams can play in bowl games if there are not enough six and six teams to go around but six and six and greater teams do have priority over those five and sevens. Now, why are bowl games so important? Yes, a big hoorah for the team to end off the season, but schools and conferences really want their teams to get in bowl games for one reason, one reason only, the moolah, because there's so much money conferences and schools get because they participate in a bowl game that season. As if a team makes it to the college football playoffs, their conference receives $6 million per team for being in the college football playoffs semifinals. And a conference receives $4 million for each team they have playing in a non-playoff New Year's Six Bowl. There are no payouts for teams advancing to the national championship. The non-New Year's Six payout range for participating in bowl games range anywhere from $8 million to $250,000. And the big games that you want the teams to play in are the New Year's Six Bowl, and they're called the New Year's Six Bowls because they are centered around New Year's Day. As the Orange Bowl is played on December 30th, the Peach Bowl, the Fiesta Bowl, and the Sugar Bowl are played on December 31st and in the 2022 season the Peach Bowl and Fiesta Bowl are the college football playoff semifinals game. The Cotton Bowl and the Rose Bowl are played on January 2nd. They're usually played on January 1st but because January 1st is a Sunday I believe why they're not playing because you know the NFL can't mess with Booth Burger. Some conferences have tie-ins and affiliations with certain bowl games as the Power 5 schools are the only ones with secured spots to get into certain and mostly New Year's Six Bowls every year. The ACC's biggest affiliation is with the Orange Bowl as the champion or the highest ranked team not in the college football playoffs will play in the Orange Bowl. And Notre Dame can actually qualify for any ACC tie-in or affiliation bowl game but they cannot represent the ACC in those games. And the other non-New Year's Six Bowls that the ACC has affiliations with are Reliquest, formerly known as the Outback Bowl, as in 2022, they decided to rename and rebrand themselves as that, which I found very shocking. In the Big Ten, they have an affiliation with the Rose Bowl as their conference champion or the highest ranked non-college football playoff team is automatically put into that game. The Big 12 has a tie-in with the Sugar Bowl as their conference champion or the highest ranked non-college football playoff teams gets an automatic bid to play in that. The SEC has a tie-in with the Sugar Bowl as their champion or highest ranked non-college football playoff team. And lastly, the Pac-12 has a tie-in with the Rose Bowl as their champion or highest ranked non-college football playoff team gets an automatic bid to play in that. And the highest ranked conference champion from the American Athletic Conference, Conference USA, MAC, Mountain West, Sun Belt get an automatic spot in the Cotton Bowl if it is not being used as the college football playoff semifinals that year. Well, now that you know so much about college football bowl games, make sure to check out my entire How College Football Works Simplified playlist and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video, which are on Mondays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Leave me a comment down below telling me your favorite bowl game and if your team is playing in one this year, as well as give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down 
because it's your thumb. And remember, don't be afraid to join the cotton vote. And, and like the words in your head are just coming out faster than they're coming out your mouth. That's what's really happening here.